All right, Ashley, well, new tonight at 9, the radar used to track rain and storms in New Orleans and Baton Rouge is moving. That's right, meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook tells us why. The current radar in Slidell provides coverage for the greater Baton Rouge area, but it is now offline as it prepares to move to its new home in Hammond. Radar provides key information about current conditions and helps forecasters give accurate warnings during severe weather. Moving the radar to Hammond and adding a lower scanning tilt will capture a more complete picture closer to the ground when storms form. That lower scanning strategy plus the move closer to the west will provide better surveillance for western portions of the area, including the Baton Rouge metro area. Um, and that will also help us uh, help forecasters better interrogate the storms, uh, hopefully leading to more accuracy and warnings. The radar will be down through the winter months as this is typically a less active season than the summer. However, strong cold fronts with the potential for severe weather can still be possible. Surrounding radar sites including Lake Charles, Jackson, and Mobile will help provide coverage during the down months. Even without the radar, meteorologists at the National Weather Service are highly trained to analyze the environment and issue warnings. We've done some internal training too, really leveraging satellite training is a real big thing. Uh, what we call mesoanalysis, which is understanding the environmental conditions that are favorable for severe weather. So everyone is uh, brushed up, ready to go, uh, very familiar with the environment. So uh, yeah, we're 100% we're ready to go and feeling good. This winter will see El Nino conditions, which means we will likely see above average rainfall with more storm systems possible. It is important to keep up to date with the forecast and have your severe weather safety plan in place. Please make sure you have a reliable way to receive those warnings. Don't think that uh, we got a system coming, but there's no radar up. So maybe I'm not going to get as many warnings. That's not the case. If you do get those warnings, uh, take them very seriously. The plan is to bring the radar back online in Hammond by the end of March next year.